Hey guys, what's up? So, LastPass recently was hacked um, and the people from LastPass don't really know if uh, the hackers stole any passwords for all of the LastPass users so to make sure they are recommending, th recommending that people just straight up change their passwords and unless you have two-factor authentication you don't need to do it but if you only have a password you definitely need to go and change it so I'm gonna show you how to set your LastPass second factor authentication which makes uh, makes LastPass uh, a hundred times a hundred times better than just having a password so just go to your LastPass folder and click on Vault and I'm, I'm already logged in but uh, if you're not well just type your password and go directly to account settings and then on multi-factor options I recommend you use uh, both Google Authenticator and Grid uh, they are both free and they are I think they are also available for the people that use the free version of LastPass I am a, a paying user it's only $12 per year which is uh, it's nothing if you are not a subscriber you need to do it because it gives you uh, way more options and you're not gonna miss twelve dollars believe me so I recommend you go to your Android uh, smartphone or your iPhone and download the free Google Authenticator it's gonna look uh, something like this let me log into my phone it's uh, gonna look like this it's just called authenticator actually so um, just download it and uh, once you have it in your phone just go to action click the pencil select yes and permit offline access click allow and uh, once you have downloaded your app to your smartphone Google Authenticator you can either scan the barcode or enter the private key so I am going to show you how to do the barcode okay there it is so bring up your app open it and click this uh, menu up here on the corner set up account and then scan barcode alright so you're gonna align the barcode to your camera there it is now secret saved alright or if you prefer to enter the private key just uh, click that enter your password and then uh, it's gonna give you a key which uh, I'm not gonna show you and then just when you select the menu in this corner set up account just enter provided key and you're going to just give a name just put a write last pass and then enter the key and that's gonna set up uh, it's gonna identify your last pass account with the authenticator Okay, after you scan the, either the barcode or enter the private key, click update and uh, it's going to ask you to enter the code from your Google Authenticator and then it's going to enable it. <coughs> uh, make sure uh, you don't lose your phone. So what I recommend you do after you do this, 
you go immediately and do a backup of your passwords and how how do you do that uh, well you uh, you go to on the on your last pass vault go down to export it's gonna it's giving me an HTML uh, HTML printout and you're gonna save that in your computer or preferably somewhere yeah in your computer uh, but somewhere that you remember in case you lose access to your LastPass uh, account so just keep it uh, somewhere that you remember that you have that backup uh, but just be aware that uh, if somebody breaks into your computer they are able to see all of your passwords so and just keep that in mind alright so once you have your two-factor authentication you are set for uh, you are a uh, hundred times more secure than if you just had your last pass your last pass password because if somebody in the case that they stole your password from the last pass website which they say it's impossible because they use so much encryption and they say it's impossible that people can steal your password but you know you just you can never be sure you know so if you're unable to factor authentication even if they steal your password they will need your phone to get to your Google authenticator code and without without that code they are screwed they can't access your passwords uh, in case you lose your phone and you lose your Google authenticator access LastPass gives you the option to disable Google Authenticator uh, using your email address. Um, so if you are logging in and uh, you don't have your code, uh, LastPass gives you a link that you click and they, they send you an email and uh, in hopefully you have access to your email uh, in that case. So you go in there and click the link and the Google Authenticator is automatically disabled so you are able to enter LastPass without a code just with your password so uh, hopefully uh, this uh, demonstration was easy enough for you to start, use, start using the Google Authenticator uh, two-factor I really recommend you start using it because like I said uh, LastPass can uh, they say it's it is very it is nearly impossible for people to steal your password from for the LastPass account but uh, if you have to factor authentication it's uh, virtually impossible for them to access without your phone they would need to uh, come and steal your phone and uh, you know that's that's not gonna happen probably and uh, so there you go uh, thanks for uh, watching and uh, good luck